Hello and welcome to another episode of Forkful of Noodles. I'm Krish Mohan. So before we dive into this week's episode, I just want to let you guys know that if you would like to support the show, DIY Socially Conscious Comedy, uh, you can go to patreon.com slash krishmohanhaha and become a monthly patron for only $2 a month. All right, let's dive right into this week's episode. Mark Zuckerberg, the owner of Facebook and loser of every Jesse Eisenberg lookalike contest ever, was questioned by Congress about his involvement in the Cambridge Analytica debacle. The House Energy and Commerce Department softballed some questions to the tech mogul, mainly because Facebook gifted the department over $60,000. Week, Mark Zuckerberg testified before the House Energy and Commerce Committee, and that is the committee that has authority over internet companies like Facebook. And in a perfect world, no, actually, in a world that even has mediocre democratic institutions, you'd expect that committee to be relatively impartial, impartial, to be able to sit there and listen to Fedbook's pleas of innocence in the face of clear election tampering and think, wow, uh, yeah, this is pretty fucked up. We should... We should do something to, you know, rein in Facebook. But alas, such is not our world. In fact, quite the opposite. First of all, how can a committee that represents the largest spying and manipulation network in the history of humanity be impartial on a case dealing with spying and manipulation? That's literally all the government does. Spy, lie, manipulate, repeat. Secondly, how can you be impartial when the guy that you're supposedly grilling is kind of your sugar daddy? Yeah, so in the 2018 cycle alone, Facebook gifted $66,150 to the House and Energy Committee. And that's more than any other House committee. They asked Zuckerberg what he thinks his punishment should be. As Truthout noted during the hearing, Zuckerberg has asked for his own advice on legislation to regulate his company. Zuckerberg says he supports rules about consent, but adds, you know, we need to make it so that American companies can innovate with features that may be considered invasive. The moral of this immoral story, spies can't regulate spies, and until you remove the power structure of Congress being the paid employees of big corporations like Facebook, our laws are never going to come down against them. I mean, that's real progressive from Congress. You know, that's progressive parenting right there, which is about the only progressive thing they've done in like 20 years. Hey, Marky. Seems like you sold out the psyche of the American people to the highest bidder, leaving everybody feeling betrayed and unsure about what's real and whether they can trust you or not. Do you think you did something wrong, or would you like to sit in front of us with an awkward smile and eat ice cream all day? Senators, I'm gonna go with the ice cream option and continue my course of action proving to the world that democracy is under control of tech giants who like being worshipped by people for their worship of capitalism. But... We can all start an argument on Facebook about what ice cream flavor I should eat and whether or not it's racist because cows are from India. Zuckerberg's response was, we need to make it so American companies can innovate, even if it's with features that seem invasive, which is code for, let us root around in your psyche so we can get you to buy shit while you terrifying you of, of everything so you can just be afraid all the time and then sell you more shit using technology and apps we're basically conditioned to quell our fears with consumerism which works great since the far left is literally terrified of everything in this administration fear is always good for business which i believe was mcdonald's original ad campaign explaining why their mascot is a creepy clown so the question really comes down to trust Can we trust Facebook? Fucking no! Did we trust Facebook? Yeah. If we didn't, we wouldn't have collapsed our MySpaces and live journals like a dying star to move to a platform and build a universe of our thoughts, feelings, desires, relationship statuses, and meaningless food photos. I mean, at this point, there is so much 
of our digital DNA on Facebook that they can essentially make clones of like 2 billion of us and just unleash it upon this planet to either destroy it or just run like fun what if scenarios. You're like, what if, what if all the people that speak truths to power actually were financially funded enough not to live in squalor and travel around the country constantly doing DIY tours and punk rock shit? What if, what if we, do, what if we celebrated these people instead of making them struggle all day? That'd be a fun what if scenario, wouldn't it? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just kidding. They would never run that scenario. Because people would like it too much. Zuckerberg's trial, or what it really was, an excuse for him to finally wear his Sunday best and pretend like he's a professional. It proved that these companies are all in it to turn a buck any way they can. First, trying to sell us on ads for ourselves. Then it was getting corporations to change the game on advertising. And now... It's selling our personal and private data to whoever has the biggest check and some fun, fancy new tricks. It's like the worst magician ever. You know, keep your eye on the puppy gifts while I take your fears and passions and personal information and bam, now it's an ad for gun control and Nissan preying on your psyche. And this really is a betrayal of trust to most of us. I mean, we trusted these tech giants, and it turns out they are doing exactly what our paranoid cousins said they were doing. We poured a ton of trust into them. I mean, anytime you needed an answer, we Google it. Bam, it's right there in your fingertips the whole time. I mean, we were ready to burn down libraries in the name of Google. Bing can't even incite a book burning. We trusted Google with all of the answers, so much so that we even changed terms like let's search for it or let's research it to Google it. It's a noun and a verb. And when new search engines pop up, they're described as googly. I mean, now it's an adjective too. Facebook was supposed to connect the world and help the spread of ideas and discourse, but now we can't trust whose profile is infected with a data mining bug or or who's just a troll amazon was supposed to help us acquire things and apple is the spread of all this technology and all of these companies have betrayed our trust you are adding value facebook taps into our instinctive need not only to be loved but to love others mostly through pictures that create empathy catalyze and reinforce our relationships let's continue our journey down the torso amazon is our consumptive gut the instinct of more is hardwired into us the penalty for too little is starvation and malnutrition open your cupboards open your closets you have 10 to 100 x times what you need. Why? Because the penalty for too little is much greater than the penalty for too much. So more for less is a business strategy that never goes out of style. It's the strategy of China, it's the strategy of Walmart, and now it's the strategy of the most successful company in the world, Amazon. You get more for less into your gut, digest, send it to your muscular and skeletal system of consumption. Moving further, once we know we will survive, the basic instinct, we move to the second most powerful instinct, and that is to spread and select the strongest, smartest, and fastest seed to the four corners of the earth, or pick the best seed. This is not a timepiece. I haven't unwound it in five years. It's my vain attempt to say to people, if you mate with me, your children are more likely to survive than if you mate with someone wearing a Swatch watch. Amazon is trying to go for a monopoly of all things and treats its employees like crap. Apple is hiding money offshores and doesn't treat its employees overseas very well and keeps updating itself like constantly. I mean, we, we get it, Apple. Okay, you were trying to better yourself. But, but do you need to tell us every day that you're better than the day before? Uh, can, can we just take it back to like a monthly update or, or, like, or like an update where you're like, hey, we're finally treating our employees at Foxconn pretty well. Like, 
only three people tried to kill themselves this month. Like, if that's an update, then fine. Then that's something you can show me. But I don't... I don't need a daily update about the fact that you fixed a little thing in your operating system. Fix your Foxconn operating system. And this betrayal is going all the way up the corporate ladder with the most recent YouTube adpocalypse. I mean, advertisers pulled away from YouTube, which is owned by Google, because they were showing up on channels that promoted neo-Nazi philosophies, pedophilia, and comedian Jimmy Dore. All right, okay, yeah, I know it sounds like I just equated Jimmy Dore to neo-Nazis and pedophiles, but that's how CNN reported this story. They, they were talking about advertisers like Nissan Leaf and Disney pulling away from YouTube because their ads are showing up on videos that did not match their brand ideologies. And then they just drop Jimmy Dore's name like he's part of the same riffraff as neo-Nazis. Oh, you know, those pro-truth, anti-war comedians. You know what they like? Bigotry, eugenics, and the fury of the Dark Lord Satan himself with a side of pedophilia by a Nissan. When corporations can't trust other corporations to get us sheep to buy their shit, you know it's a real big mess. I mean, this is the problem with the polytheism of consumerism. Too many choices. And Facebook was collaborating with Cambridge Analytica to just help us decrease the burden of our choices. You know, when, when, when those senators offered Mark Zuckerberg that ice cream, he just went to the mall with the soft serve, you know, where you have the chocolate and the vanilla and maybe the mixy swirly thing in the middle, you know? He didn't, he didn't go to Baskin Robbins with 31 choices because he knows there's only two and sometimes you, you mix the two to make just one choice. Unfortunately, the choice that was being taken away was about the leadership of this country. Leadership is being used very loosely here. Uh, it's, it's being used as loose as Steve Bannon's skin. But these tech giants do play a part in the way that the country and the world is run. You know, and, and these advancements can help us you know, control what we see what we buy, who we vote for. But there are alternative platforms popping up all over the place, from Steemit to Minds.com to Mastodon. I mean, there are plenty of social media and information platforms out there that we can join and try to put our trust into. That's been your fork full of noodles for this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, Give it a thumbs up uh, on Facebook or YouTube uh, and give it a share. Uh, sharing is a great way to help this show. It reaches uh, new audiences that way uh, and uh, you get to share it with some friends. You get to share it with some enemies. Anybody that you feel like would enjoy uh, content like this or benefit from, from a, a video like this. And uh, a great way, another great way to really help the show is by becoming a patron. Uh, you can go to patreon.com slash krishmohan haha where you can find all the details about what you're supporting uh, about this show. Uh, I am the only employee of this show and it takes a very long time to make an episode uh, from doing all the research, all the writing, all the editing, uh, all the video filming. It's a, it's a multi-person job done by one person. So if you can, if you can and are able to financially contribute to that, that's awesome. Uh, it all starts at only two dollars a month. Go to Patreon.com/slash Haha. I've got live stand-up comedy shows coming up in San Diego, California, Los Angeles, California, San Francisco, California. Portland, Oregon, and so many more. You can check out my entire tour schedule 
at ramennoodlescomedy.com. That's R-A-M-A-N, noodlescomedy.com. I'm currently on a cross-country tour with musician Liss Victory, so you do not want to miss, it, uh, miss out on that. If you live in these cities, tell your friends, uh, find us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and, uh, and share the event and come hang out with us. For the entire tour schedule and all the details, you can go to ramennoodlescomedy.com. That's R-A-M-A-N, noodlescomedy.com. While you're there, uh, you can check out all of my stand-up comedy albums along with my tour dates. Uh, you can download them uh, via any of your favorite music download and streaming services. It's available on iTunes, Pandora, Spotify, Google Play, but the best place, I think, to download uh, DIY artists is on Bandcamp. Uh, and you can check out all my albums on my Bandcamp at ramennoodlescomedy.bandcamp.com. That's R-A-M-A-N, noodlescomedy.bandcamp.com. Uh, you, and you can subscribe to my Bandcamp. And when you do, you get exclusive stand-up comedy and storytelling material each and every month for only five dollars a month uh which is not that expensive and it helps the show and you get a bunch of cool fucking stand-up content that's awesome so you can go to ramen noodles comedy dot bandcamp dot com r-a-m-a-n noodles comedy dot bandcamp dot com uh and like i said a really great way to help this show is by becoming a monthly patron by going to patreon.com slash krishmohanhaha starting at only two dollars a month that is one cup of coffee guys if you can give up one cup of coffee you can help support this show uh go to patreon.com slash krishmohanhaha you get to see uh how and why you should support this show you get to build a community and talk directly to me without any sort of censorship by any other social media platform um, and, uh, you get to help, help me get to, to more cities, my favorite cities and your favorite cities more often. Uh, so go to patreon.com slash Haha. Uh, I'm also on Steemit. I'm also on Minds. Uh, I'm all over the goddamn place. There's a lot of shit you can follow me on. <laughs> uh, but I truly, truly, truly appreciate you guys, uh, liking this stuff, watching this stuff, sharing this stuff. Keep doing that. Tell more people about it uh, because that's how you help independent media grow. Uh, if you can't contribute monthly, there's also an option for a one-time donation. Check out the description and the video below. Uh, and uh, and I hope to see you guys at a live show. It's always fun to, to meet you guys out on the road. Uh, well, I'm super excited to come all over the country and see you guys. So uh, that's, uh, that's your fork full of noodles for this week. Thank you so much for getting into it, and we'll see you on the road.